I think I grew up when it was all about the, the ozone hole and things like that. And it's quite, you know, it's quite obviously apparent that the way every respected expert says we need to do things and the way we are doing things don't match up. And I also knew that I really loved being outside and being with my friends and doing things like that. And somebody gave me a copy of a book called Shelter, which is a fantastic book. And it's very much just a scrapbook of people's shelter that they provided for themselves. And it covers a lot of indigenous shelters and ways of shelter. And it also covers a lot of contemporary shacks and huts and self-built homes. You know, as well as showing the practicality of it, it shows something of the joy of the creativity of it. Our first attempt at building was just before we had our first child and it was a it was a round straw bale house on stilts on a platform in the woods and it took us about two months to move in and cost us about two or three thousand pounds. We did it again, um, we built this house which has become known as the, as the Hobbit House. Um, which again using straw bales dug into the hillside a bit this time with the turf roof over the top and using this spiral reciprocal roof pattern which is a lovely easy thing to construct and very functional as well. We put a few photos up on the internet to show to some friends of ours who'd helped with the build and somebody happened to blog them and pass them on to somebody else and they they blogged them as well and before we knew it we were having you know lots of people on the phone and loads of people were looking at it. Well, what seems to happen if you get a major article is all the other news agencies and publications around the world, they just instantly ring you for the same story. And um, it has happened to us before and we are prone to sort of ignore it, but we felt at the moment, generally it was good time to, for some reason it's inspiring people, then it's good time to take up the opportunities. So um, there was Channel 5 News, London Metro, Dublin Metro, I had a few photo agencies, Daily Express, Radio Dublin, and then Yahoo and MSN and Google News will put it on their front page. And so that made a million more phone calls come. And, uh, we are looking for people from all different backgrounds and, uh, and uh, through seven uh, age brackets, like the title suggests. And, um, and I came across you with the, the article that was on the Metro yesterday. Uh, and I was wondering if uh, this would be something that would be of your interest, if, uh, if you'd like to have a think about it. I think we've been in definitely over 100 things like that now. They don't generally pay. Um, we don't ever bother to make a hard line with it because we just can't be bothered, really. It's really humbling and amazing. We hear from so many people, from you know London stockbrokers to Native North American Indians, and you know from all around the world who who can really associate with that. And I think that's really telling that there's something there. There's some link to something which is within us. And you know, I suppose really it's a it's a bit of a desire to live a simple life. And the fact that also that it got connected with the, with the Hobbit thing, which was never our intention in the first place. Um, I think that's again probably reflecting the same sort of thing, and maybe that's what Tolkien was portraying there, was a, you know, humans living in a, in a simple and honest sort of way. Really.